All right, guys, welcome into the core place video here for the WGC FedEx St. Jude. I do want to just mention that uh, Hall of Fame game. NFL is back. Hall of Fame game is going to be this week on Thursday. Already have a video posted there for you guys. Pretty excited for it. If you guys want to, you know, if you guys are an NFL person, make sure to check that out. It's good stuff there. Um, you know, 9 to 5 has always been the forerunner for preseason DFS. It's, it's the easiest edge to gain, okay? It's kind of the exact opposite of a no-cut event which is what we have this week for the WGC FedEx St. Jude. So, you know, with it being a no-cut event, it is a week in which you typically do want to do studs and duds. And so that's kind of how I'm going to echo this core plays video. So the first core play that we're going to start off with is going to be the top player on the slate, kind of like last week where you, you just want to play the top player on the slate. Last week it was um, Xander Shoffley. This week it's going to be Colin Morikawa, top player in the slate. And what I mean by that, top-rated player in the 9-5 to model, um, course history wise had a top 20 finish here uh two years ago stat wise best staff in the field he ranks top five in ball striking strokes gain differential effective scoring and strokes gain t to green i mean that's gonna be tough to beat this week um obviously in pretty good recent form played well at the olympics um had a fourth a second uh 14th eighth seventh 41st and first place finish in his recent start so yeah Kyle morikow has really been dominating for me i just can't pass up on a guy that's been playing that well this season especially in a no-cut event where you can easily do a studs and duds approach. So after that, I'm just going to go back to the well with Louis Oosthuizen, who ranks out second best in the 9-5 to model this week. He has really good course history here, 6th and a 20th place finish. Um, Stat-wise, 3rd in effective scoring, 15th in birdie to bogey ratio, 22nd in striking and green, and 21st in ball striking, guys. Um, obviously, he's been in great recent form, 2nd, 3rd, and a bunch of other 2nd place finishes as well. Um, we just look at the kind of checking all the boxes top eight or better in stat rank course history rank and recent form rank ranks out first in uh, recent form rank as well so yeah uh usti and mordecai can be a nice starting point for you guys this week um it's definitely a starting point that i don't mind going with this week and then i'm going to continue kind of the nine to five um role here this week i'm going to go back to the well with harris english this week just kind of tough for me to ignore his recent form and the fact that he has had a top 10 finish at this tournament in the past he missed the cut when it was a full tournament field event and he also had a top 10 finish when it was a full tournament field event harris english is one of the players that are playing really strong golf as of recent um and this is a course where it would fit his style of play a little bit better top 15 staff it that kind of echoes that but recent form prior to the open championship first third 14th 64th 13th you know he had been some pretty good recent form so harris english at 7.6 to me is an absolute steal that's someone i'll be going out of my way to play this week and then getting to the fourth and final core play for you guys this week i kind of want you guys to sit on it for a second see if you guys know who i'm going to go with because i really want to go with value play but i just i couldn't do it and i said i'm going to continue the nine to five theme this week and so continuing the 9-5 to five theme this week, I'm going to go back to Corey Connors this week. 8.1 is kind of the struggle with him because if we're going Usti and if we're going Morikawa, 8.1 is a price point that is kind of tougher to end up on. But there are some, you know, good value plays that you can end up on that are going to be risk reward. And you can kind of just mix and match the value plays in there with these strong four core plays. So looking over Corey Connors could have some more upside in his course history, uh, 30th, 27th, and 68th. But hey. That's pretty good. You know, we do want a top 20 finish out of him, which is what we got last week at the Olympics. And the Olympics are kind of funny. No cut events are funny. Um, Thursday, Friday, not looking all that great, but I felt really comfortable um, because I knew it was a no cut event and Xander was right in position. And then sure shit, uh, Corey Connor started picking it up. Some other players started picking up and it was a really good week. So uh, yeah, I'm looking at Corey Connor's recent form, uh, 13th and 15th in his last two starts, ranks out top 20 in recent form rank, uh, top 10 staff hit overall 13th best player in the nine to five mile this week. But that is all I have for you guys for the core plays video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like and subscribe. If you guys want to join 9 to 5 Nation and use all the best tools in PGA DFS, the most predictive modeling in PGA DFS, I didn't even get a chance. I didn't even flex on the 50% betting card. And 50% of the tournaments this year, 9 to 5's betting card has had a first or second place finisher. Stuff to beat.
that's that's good stuff right there all for ten dollars a month we got you covered there guys all right i'm out as always let's keep cashing